Hi everyone, this is Lucas Alexander for Age of Truth TV. Auch so diese Mutation, die man da anzieht, da wird der der Strahl rumgelenkt, wenn man so will, um dann hier in diesem. Yes, hello and hi everyone. This is Lucas Alexander for Age of Truth TV. Just with a quick update, we will be back very very soon with more. Uh, Great shows, hopefully, for you, and we are very sorry that we've been away for a while. We really missed being with you guys, and we will be back shortly with a lot of new great shows and also a new series that we want to do on Age of Truth TV alongside our usual programs. But this, this series is called Life Stories, fascinating people with fascinating eye-opening life stories that we would like to include on our channel and to share with you. But today, the 5th of July 2022, is a very strange day because they are right now turning on CERN's particle accelerator again, switching, switching back on the Large Hadron Collider. With an unprecedented speed and a new kind of technology and energy with more power and, let's say, well, skill than before. It's uh, been around three years since it was uh, last, it, since it was on the last time, and they were supposed to turn it back on in 2021, but due to the pandemic, they postponed it. So, this is a difficult day for all of us who know what is really going on at CERN and have done the massive research over the years about their extraordinary and advanced technology that supposedly can open portals to other dimensions in the multiverse and gain access to these timelines, planes, and dimensions. Also, inviting demonic entities archon beings and alien interdimensionals and perhaps extra extraterrestrials into our realm for dark energy purposes, energy harvesting, mind control programming, life force consumption and advanced technology. Used, of course, by the cult, the Illuminati, call it what you want, for control purposes. And at this crucial time on our timeline, where truth vibrations are opening the minds and the hearts of millions because of the natural universal energy changes and earth changes, the lifting of the shadow veil that has been covering the vision of millions of people for centuries, this is a very, very important time because it's happening right now. This energy change and mass awakening is the biggest threat to the top elitist controllers as their grip and domination of the world's population will crumble if they don't use extreme measures to keep people dumbed down under the constant frequency of fear, the all-powerful control weapon, as we know, and keep them asleep. Using this mass superweapon at CERN, the Large Hadron Collider, could be a great and very ominous weapon against humanity. But only if we let it. You, we can change that frequency with the power of our energy, frequency and vibration. It's a collective effort and an individual effort that can be done now, today, by you, by me, but by everyone listening to this. We can, if we understand the power of uh, what our energy can do, what our human frequency is capable of doing, how it can change. This is law of attraction, law of attraction in action. And meditation, yes, meditation to Uh, steer your concentration to a certain thing, to a certain point, to something special that can be used. So if we meditate with a positive but strong energy, put that into this effort, this meditation effort, in order to renounce any bad negative energy coming into our realm to shield this timeline from any negative influence from dark forces and from those people who use this tool under the guise of a scientific effort and scientific breakthrough. 
because they do talk about this being unprecedented. Uh, the energy is way more um, advanced. The, the technology is more advanced than before. And they will break, let's say, scientific barriers if they are successful. And a lot of people are working there. They don't even know what is actually going on and what it can be used for. So what we need to do is to change the energy to dissolve that energy, let's protect the world the best that we can through the power of will, strength, determination, and our extraordinary and divine energy force. We have it. We can do this. We can be part of this in a positive way. So let's do that now today. The most important thing is to take control of your power. No fear. No fear. Do not feed the fear. It's not about fear. Some researchers, though, suggest that the so-called white hats, meaning the good guys, are in control of CERN now, and the experiments to be done now with the Large Hadron Collider. Um, but we have no way to substantiate that claim, and we have no evidence to support it. Many questions arise when that discussion is opened, because why even use the collider and do these dangerous experiments then that could potentially uh, change uh, timelines and uh, even, you know, and invite all of these dark entities in, connect even more so with Saturn energy and all that those things. And we can focus on going in a whole different direction, in a more loving vibration, and shield ourselves, our energy, and this timeline. We would love to have a discussion on, you know, on many, many aspects of what is going on at CERN and what is happening today here on the 5th of July, 2022. And we want to do a show about CERN. And uh, we are planning to do a special on CERN very soon on Age of Truth TV with a panel of knowledgeable speakers. So we will be back very shortly also with our Life Stories series and some of our, let's say, normal, unusual programs here. And uh, this is just a short update as things are happening at CERN. And you can check out their website. Not that, you know, we want to promote that, but... But that is definitely, you know, um, the uh, only way to get their their um, information at the moment, the one that they want us to know. Of course, not all of the alternative stuff, but that's what we're going to talk about on the show. So uh, see you very soon, and thank you uh, very much always for um, supporting us. And do check out our website, ageoftruth.tv. So let's um, hopefully meet soon here again and have a wonderful day thinking about all the positive stuff that we can do to change whatever they have planned at the moment by switching on this uh, um, monstrosity. So talk to you soon. See you soon. And much love. Bye. I think we are ready. So I go. There is some, some, a special shifter now in the controls of the LFC. I see it, our Director General taking part uh, in this process of uh, uh, running the beam uh, to, this, uh, the, the, to the beginning of round three. The, the, is, she, is she familiar with, uh, with what you're doing? So she could even replace. So she could replace a shifter <laughs> if you needed. Uh, if you needed extra manpower. No, I'm joking. She's very passionate of physics and uh, every aspect of uh, of the process uh, and uh, and uses her. And, and she, of course, understands uh, all, all all that is involved. We are now seeing uh, some special facts and figures about the LHC. It's really a unique machine. It's not just the largest and most powerful uh, particle collider. It's superconductive. It's the coldest place in. The planet uh, also the hottest at the same time at collision point but look at all these statistics uh, 
2,800 megawatts is uh, beam colliding. Uh, and this intensity, which is not much above what we have now, in fact, uh, will be the intensity of each of these bunches. Uh, and then all of these collisions happening uh, at the same time. So basically, uh, we're going around this ring, uh, which is at 11,000 times a second. Uh, and each of these bunches is colliding together. So today, we only have two collisions, basically. Uh, Ageoftruth.tv is our website. Thank you for watching.